Welcome to the Light Home Sustainable Design podcast series. We talk with the architects and builders about green design and homes that really suit the way we love to live. Today we're talking about uh, green mattresses um, and we're talking to Ray here. What's the first thing or some of the things people should consider when they're buying a green mattress, Ray? One of the biggest problems with mattresses is that if they're made from synthetic materials uh, uh, and also have chemical content, when the mattress comes into contact with the body, the bodily heat uh, acts like a catalyst in a, in a chemical reaction so that the chemicals tend to vaporise so that you're actually breathing in uh, uh, trace elements of, of chemicals as you sleep. Uh, that's the big thing. So you've got to be really, uh, really conscious of what's in the mattress. And uh, most of the mattresses on the market today are made without any consciousness of these things. They're just made uh, for, uh, uh, for technical reasons in a certain way that confer certain uh, comfort benefits or so on but without really addressing the holistic as- the, the, the holistic health aspect of, of what's, what's in a mattress. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about some of your mattresses in a minute, but first of all, I just wondered if you could tell us a little bit about the background of Blessed Earth. Um, yeah, thanks, Lucy. Uh, we started Blessed Earth um, uh, eight years ago now. Uh, started off making organic cotton underwear. Uh, there was no, at that stage, there was no awareness of the need for anything like that. Uh, if you went online, looked up organic cotton, there were just a few people selling baby wear and a little bit of this, bit of that. And of course, that's a whole different story now. There's thousands of pages probably devoted to organic cotton. So it's a change thing in that eight years. But eight years ago, there was no awareness. So we started off making organic cotton underwear. There wasn't much demand for it. Uh, and so we diversified into clothing, organic cotton clothing, uh, and then to bed linen and uh, eventually got on to making uh, cotton mattresses actually. We made organic cotton mattresses and then fortunately we had the opportunity to make wool mattresses which uh, we believe confer really big advantages to the user and uh, that's, we've been making those for five years now. Okay, so they're made from organic wool. Mm-hmm. Um, what's special about them? Why would I want one? <laughs> uh, you'd want one because a uh, uh, number of advantages. First of all, uh, the wool keeps you dry uh, it's very good for wicking moisture away from the body. So especially anyone who's uh, got an eczema or an asthma predisposition who's going to get benefit. But uh, anybody who, especially if they tend to perspire, the wool bedding will keep them dry. The wool also uh, filters volatile organic compounds from the atmosphere, uh, substances such as formaldehyde. Uh, so it, it, it actually uh, makes it uh, non-available to the sleeper. Um, that, that's a very big benefit. Uh, comfort wise uh, they're excellent uh, the wool has much greater resilience than other materials such as latex or cotton uh, so they're very comfortable um, keep you dry um, and healthy okay. yeah. it sounds like the wool is working quite hard there I was just going to ask how long would one of these mattresses last uh, how long is a piece of string it'll still be a good mattress in 20 years time uh, but normally uh, you know being a natural fibre they will settle over time um, we provide an option that if the mattress is settling more than you want, you get um, an additional pad called a topper that goes on top. But after you know, 10, 20 years, you might decide to get another one. But it'll still yeah. be working. Okay. Do you... right. It's not like a Ninnis spring mattress. When the spring fails, you've got to throw it away. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you sleep on these mattresses yourself? Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, I do. You can vouch for their comfort then. <laughs> All of our people do sleep on them. Okay, brilliant. Um, and what sort of feedback do you get from some of your customers? Uh, we get a lot of advocates of our product. A lot of people, rec- most, most of our sales come from uh, referrals, from recommendations, maybe 70%. So uh, we get excellent feedback. Uh, mattresses are one of those things, every now and again, somebody will find a mattress that doesn't work for them. They don't care what the mattress is. Uh, their expectations are different than what the product delivers. But uh, overall, the, uh, the feedback is fantastic. Okay. Any idea how many you might have sold over the last four, well, four years? Uh, it'd be some thousands. Yeah, brilliant. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's really interesting. Thank you very much. You're welcome.